Hello and welcome, I'm your code monkey. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. A practical example of some advice that I mentioned in a previous video literally just happened. It's honestly eerie how the timing is such a coincidence. I recorded my interview with Chris on the 18th, and literally on the 19th this happened. But anyways, first just some context on what exactly am I talking about and how does this relate to the title in this video. So last week I made a video with Chris Zukowski, who is a SIEM marketing expert. We talked a lot about how SIEM works. Definitely go ahead and watch that video and the two follow-ups if you haven't seen them yet. There's tons of really awesome marketing knowledge. So in there, I asked him about something that I read in one of his blog posts. Already heard you say several times is how horror is supposedly a great genre because it's very simple to make something and it really just needs something a little bit interesting as long as it has a little hook, something that is slightly different. It doesn't have to be super complex. Personally, I have to say for me, horror is not the kind of games that I like to play. I get scared way too easily. But your, your uh, comments on the genre definitely made me slightly convinced that I should probably give it a try because, yeah, it seems like, a, <laughs> seems like it can be a good genre. Here, here's, here's one thing. A lot of people wonder about that. Like, I don't like horror. Horror sells so well. So well. And you don't even have to be a fan to make a horror game. And let me, let me explain. Um, I'm, I'm a big film buff. I love movies. I'm always, I'm always reading about film and stuff like that. Um, I love movies. Um, one of the best horror films ever made, The Shining, made by Stanley Kubrick. That guy didn't even like horror movies. He only made The Shining because his previous movie that he made was a total flop. Nobody liked it. And he's like, God, these horror movies are always hits. I need a hit. I'm going to make the best horror movie ever. I don't even like them. And so he read all these horror books and he's like, I hate this book. I hate this book. And then he found The Shining. He's like, this is a good story. And he decided to make The Shining this classic horror film just because he wanted a hit. And I feel like this is very similar to indies. They're like, I'm sick of making these puzzle platformers that never sell. I'm sick of it. Fine. I'm just going to make a horror game. And they do amazingly well. And literally the day after I recorded that interview with Chris, that literally just happened. I read about this on the Game Discover Code newsletter. Also an excellent source for indie game marketing. I highly recommend you follow it. So an indie studio called Ember spent four years working on their first game. It's called Straight Lights. It looks extremely well made. This is a really gorgeous looking, very atmospheric game. I love the style. The boss fights are really awesome. Everything is super stylish, super well made. But despite being such a cool looking game and despite actually receiving quite a lot of positive reviews from critics, despite that, it didn't actually sell very well at all. On Steam, it has 190 reviews. They're at 84% positive, which means that people do like it. But in terms of numbers, the game really only sold about 7,000 copies. So after taking away Steam's cut, after taking away taxes, chargebacks, returns, and so on, after all that, this is left with maybe $50,000. Now, that's really not much for four years of work and on an indie studio that appears to have about eight people. So suddenly, despite looking really cool, this is probably not a financially successful game. I can imagine that at this point, this studio definitely need the hit and they need it quickly in order to stay afloat. So they spent the next few months working on a horror game. It's called Murky Drivers. It just came out and already has more than double the amount of reviews. And as all of this, despite the fact that it's only been out for a week. This is very much a co-op horror game, very much in the sound that is quite popular nowadays. There are tons of streamers playing the game, some of them with 500,000 views. Then there's over here 70,000 views, 500k views, another one with a million views and so on. So this game that was made in under one year, so very quickly, this one already hit an all-time peak of 1,700 players, as opposed to the really awesome game that they spent four years making that peaked at just 87. So this really appears to be the exact same thing that Chris mentioned in that Stanley Kubrick story. These devs spent years working on a really awesome game, very well made, but suddenly it did not sell very well. They really needed the hit, so they turned on to a horror game and they finally found that hit. Now naturally, this isn't some kind of super secret guaranteed cheat code. It's not like every single horror game finds success. There are lots of successful ones and lots of unsuccessful ones. You don't really get default success just by being a horror game. But this very clear example does show how there is a huge audience for horror games and it's also a genre that you can make relatively quickly. So even though personally I'm not a fan of horror, I don't enjoy playing horror games, I don't enjoy watching horror movies, but after reading Chris's advice and seeing all of this play out in real life, at this point I'm getting more and more convinced that at some point in the future I should probably give this idea a try. And if you yourself are already a fan of horror, then this seems like a no-brainer. Definitely go ahead and give this genre a try. You can make the game quickly, and there's a huge hungry audience that really likes playing these games. All you need to do is give them something a little bit interesting, a little bit unique, and they won't definitely go to it. I thought this was a really funny coincidence. Literally the day after I recorded that interview with Chris, literally this happened. If you want to learn why Chris recommends horror games and learn a lot more about Steam game marketing, if so, definitely go watch my three videos that I made with him. Tons of information, super knowledge, and all the videos have timestamps for all the questions, so definitely go ahead and watch those. And if you want to get a ton of marketing knowledge, all condensed in just a single place, then definitely go ahead and watch his courses. There's a link in the description where you can pick them up. This sale is ending just this Sunday, so if you're interested, definitely get it quickly. Alright, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.